I'm James Bridges with Survival Edge Lights. The model that you're looking at here is the S20 Baton by Olight. If you've examined some of the other S-Series lights, uh, you will find some familiarity with this particular model. However, the S20 Baton certainly stands out on its own. Uh, now, one quick note uh, on the user interface. It is the same single button user interface, but you'll notice a different colored button there. This is a uh, black button as opposed to the bright blue button that you'll find in some of the other uh, models like the S10. Now, with the S20 Baton, you will find some particularly neat uh, performance aspects to this light. Uh, as far as familiarity, you'll find, and if you've uh, seen some of the other videos, you will find the nice uh, two-way clip, which I am a particular uh, fan of. This model, which has a maximum output of 550 lumens uh, of output, is actually powered, you can power it two, uh, two different ways. You can power it with one uh, 18650 size uh, battery, which I do have in there currently. Uh, generally, when we're uh, operating our lights, uh, we tend, uh, on our own personal use, to use uh, the 18650 size uh, batteries. We're generally using the 2600 mAh. Uh, versions uh, and yes, I do do note that it is a, a night core uh, battery uh, in an Olight model, but that's okay. It still uh, certainly works uh, very well. So you can power it with an 18650 size battery, or you can use two CR123A batteries. Now, if you are using a two CR123A batteries, what you will find is they do include a battery uh, magazine and I put uh, the two batteries in there. There is a slight circumference difference um, of the CR123As versus the 18650. It is nice, and I have seen other manufacturers start to do this as well, uh, when, they, when they do give you an option of powering by both, including the uh, magazine is very uh, helpful uh, so you can you know, get the most out of the batteries. It runs a little bit of rattling, and you get the most performance uh, out of your light. On to the rest of the features uh, of the S20. You'll find a very familiar uh, interface and very uh, familiar way of interacting uh, with your flashlight. First and foremost, what I am a fan of, I do like the moonlight mode, and you'll find you can access it the same way. When the light is in its off position, if I hold down the light, I'm going to enter moonlight mode. That's its uh, lowest output uh, setting. In this case, that's 0.5 lumens. Now, once the light is on, then I can cycle through the different brightness levels just by holding down the switch. If I hold down, and by the way, I can release at any point you see I released there, and I can hold at that particular brightness level, which uh, this is five lumens. If I hold it down again, I'm gonna go up to 120 lumens. If I hold it one more time, I'm gonna go up to the maximum, in this case, 550 lumens. I can click it off uh, there with a single click, one of the uh, nice aspects is it will remember the last setting uh, that you are on. Turn away from the camera so we don't get too bright. Again, now I'm, uh, I was there on the uh, maximum uh, output, which is the 550 lumens. It's nice, it does remember the last setting. Now, uh, a unique aspect uh, of this particular model, it actually does have a strobe feature. I'm gonna turn it on uh, just momentarily, but I just kinda wanna pre-warn as it does get a little bright on the video camera. You're able to access uh, this uh, brightness level or this kind of mode change uh, by simply double clicking uh, the side switch here. So if I double click it, um, you'll see, I just wanted to turn it off because it was pretty, pretty bright there. You will see it activates strobe mode. Now in this case, the light actually will not remember that it was in strobe mode. That's when it does not remember. So if I turn it back on, it's going to remember the last brightness level uh, that I was on. I do, uh, do appreciate that feature as I think that uh, if you forgot that it was in strobe mode, accessing that might be a little uh, obtrusive if you happen to uh, just dive back into that mode. So it is a nice uh, little addition that they uh, made of it not to remember that particular feature. Nice size, uh, nice size body length. Um, it is basically, and uh, they do certainly optimize uh, the body uh, for the, uh, you have just a small uh, head on the flashlight there, um, in addition to the length of the batteries that power it. As with many of the other Olight models, they include some nice goodies for you. We'll get a lanyard. You will get some uh, backup uh, O-rings, a little uh, key ring there too, to make it easy to attach to the uh, tail cap. Uh, a nice feature on this model as well. You do have the magnet in the tail cap. With the flat 
uh, tail cap. It does make it for a nice tail standability. The addition of the magnet in the back, uh, I'm a fan of. It just makes it easy if you're, especially if you're um, out working in a variety of areas, you can just uh, connect it to, to a toolbox, uh, just to let it sit there, make it easy to grab later. Um, uh, I've shared uh, on other videos with this feature, it does make it a nice addition to uh, throw in your car uh, because having a magnet as part of the flashlight can make it handy in a variety of situations, you know, to perform uh, some inspections and free up your hands. They certainly did a good job of some of the core features of the light, which don't always uh, get the attention they probably deserve. Um, and, and what I mean by that is it is waterproof. It's IPX rated uh, to two meters, so that's nice if you happen to uh, dump it in a water. Uh, with the aspect of having a moonlight mode, uh, you can get this light to operate for up to 600 hours. I'm not thinking that you probably would operate in moonlight mode that long, but it is nice to get that kind of yield uh, on a light depending on the power source you pick. Again, like I shared, we're huge fans of the 18650 size. Uh, nicely uh, rechargeable. Uh, and you could always use RCR 123As as opposed to just the 123As in there. So that's just a little bit about the uh, S20 uh, baton. Nice, powerful light, 550 lumens. Uh, continue to read on, find out more, and see if this is the right light for your next adventure.